is Fuzzy Wingman. I am back. <clears throat> um, as you can see, a lot of terrain here. Oh yeah, this is all Octarius terrain. Whoa! <clears throat> I had finally finished getting them into the rough paint, um, like basically camera ready, you know, good enough for the table. Um, I could obviously hit a lot more detail, but I just don't have the time. And it, you can see it took me long enough to even get to this point, so it's a good enough point. I'm also going to be using the Necrons, because I was like last week, I was like, man, I haven't played Necrons yet in this edition. So it's, I was like, you know what, screw it, they can do some um, Octarius. And funny enough, because I'm doing, I'm going to do a mission from Octarius, and you can almost see, I did my best to match what they have on here. It didn't match that well. Oh, they actually have it here. As in, I think that's a grid of inches. One, two, one, two. Oh, yeah, they do. I really could have tried to see if everything matches by the inch. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so really, I could have matched this way better than I realized now that I checked that out. Walls. Like, I can tell now this is supposed to be like way here because it's like one inch away from the edge. <laughs> Alright, good to know. Anyway, I'm playing Saboteurs. Which I guess is more of a narrative mission, but whatever. Alright, um, Necrons are the Defender. And, um... The... Guardsmen, veteran guardsmen, are the attacker. Okay, so Necrons have to first split their team as in half, as evenly as possible, and then the attacker will get to decide who got distracted by a ruse. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Um, ba, ba, da, ba, ba. Right, I need to figure out who the... Um, Leader of the Immortals is thinking this guy. Jeez, is there any indication? Not really. I might have to like put a notch on them or something. <laughs> I'll just there. That guy's got something hanging around on his base for now to indicate leader. And because they did it as. Evenly as possible. Yeah, they're fine with how they they did it, and the attackers will put select um, the one with most models to be uh, um, to show up later. So you know, and that's whole when they come in. The attacker can perform stuff to attack this structure. All right, we can just start on to the next parts. Now that we have that, and basically it's set up barricades time. <clears throat> Eight inches in plus this, so they can go basically right up to the, almost right up to the um, defender's <laughs> zone. God, there's just so much terrain already. Because of the damn... The, the, the terrain is already kind of insane, so this gets a little bit more insane. We might as well just put something in here so they could put... I mean... That way they could just shoot at anyone who comes over here. As for the attackers... <clears throat> right, they have basically up to four inches and then plus, you know, basic this plus one extra. Which is still, you know, like they can go up to about here, but they really don't need to. I mean, there's just so much terrain. <clears throat> Sure, we'll put one there. And defenders will stuff another one over here. The 
attackers. I love just the thought that the attackers have just, you know, ran forward, stuffed a lot of um, barricades into things, and then just ran back. <laughs> sure, I'll go like that. I mean, I don't know. They want to leave some space so that they don't have to freaking traverse it, you know? They won't be able to run at that thing. Well, I might as well keep the measuring tape out since it's um now set up the defenders. Here we go. Someone who can shoot at people. <laughs> Screw it. I mean, jeez. Necron, uh, Necrons will have some good vantage points here. And Immortal. Right, they need tokens. Screw it, some engaged tokens. Advantage points, they can pretty much shoot at anyone because there's not a lot of heavy terrain here. I don't think this classifies as heavy. I'll double check that one real quickly since I know that one's given as an example. Okay, I found it. This is definitely light. Also, since I know they, they talked about doors at one point, um, I am going to play with doors on these things. They do have some doors painted. Yeah. Not superbly painted, but at least it's painted. Back to giving orders. Um, I actually kind of don't like how this guy... Well, no, parts him either cross this thing or this thing, so... Does he want to conceal? No, he's going to be in an engage order. He wants to be able to shoot at things when they show up. Same with this guy. So they know, as defenders, they get to sit there and wait for the guardsmen to show up to them. Alright. Guardsmen! Have up to four inches. Alright, let's just... Get up for this. And that guy. We'll have a conceal. <clears throat> I mean, in all honesty. Gauge order. Plasma. Gauge order. Here we go. Uh -huh. Actually, conceal order. And obviously with him, spider, conceal. Mr. Shovel, engage. Medic, engage. It's not like I can hide the leader from these two. Maybe through over here, though. If he moves first and goes over here, he's going to be pretty much hidden, so conceal. <clears throat> Comms will be with him, with the conceal. Yeah, because with these two doors, they can rush through here, too. And we'll be here with an engage order. All right. Should see if it list someone specifically has the initiative at the beginning because this does not state who's going to have it so that's good that start at the second turning point so honestly we just go straight into people choosing their um scouting at this point the guardsmen are like oh yes recon would be useful 
if they didn't have a freaking tack op, which will allow them to dash everyone, which they want to do. So they're not going to bother selecting it as a scouting. They'll select infiltrate because maybe they do want to change someone's order. Um, and that also means, though, the defenders, the Necrons are also going to choose infiltrate because they have no one else to choose. If both players select the, the same, the attacker decides who has the initiative. So guardsmen get the initiative. They're going to select to have the initiative because that helps them. <clears throat> Now we can start looking at ploys. Ah, I forgot that Guardsman Orders is an ability and not a ploy. So the sergeant is thankfully next to the con, so everyone's going to get this. <clears throat> Ooh, which one's more important? Move, 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 or take aim? They're going to have several people who have the ability to take aim. And do some damage. They'll do take aim. That no, the one extra inch of movement is not necessarily ex exactly what they need for strategic ploys. Into the breach, each friendly operative within your drop zone. That's everyone can perform a free dash action, but must finish that move closer to the enemy drop zone. Hmm. So this way, got it. So they'll spend one command point for that. Um, do they want to overcharge the last guns too? At the moment, no, they will not do that. But they'll spend it for that and do their free dash. And then we'll see what the Necrons do after that. Cause dash. Oh, look at that. An advantage point where they can now be concealed and not shot at. Dash, now in cover. I was gonna say, I has line of sight to that guy, except that. He's not beyond two from that heavy, so we can't kill that immortal. Dash. 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 Screw it. Just dash. 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 And Dash. All right. At this point, his targets cannot be these three. He can't even see them, so that's helped the guardsmen hide a bit more. Now, Necrons, what can you do? What are your ploys? Because I haven't read any of them. Oh, I was going to say, that, that's a tactical ploy. It's good to know, though. I'm just kind of curious because it says, um, for the reanimation protocols, it's like for every reanimation token, but it's like, but you have, you can only do ploys once and does and say, okay, yeah. Interesting. I can make it so that way I can increase their movement characteristics, but they can only do a normal move, charge, oh. But I can only perform normal move, charge, shoot, and fight actions. Cool. That'd be good if I want to move them around. And honestly, none of these are really useful at, at the moment. Except for, obviously, the one where an operative dies. They can reanimate. Um... Tack ops, and some of them get revealed now. That gets revealed at a certain action. That's revealed after the first. I 
Can't remember if that one gets revealed now or not. Gotta actually read it because it's a veteran specific one. No, oh, that's a revealed at an end of a turning point, so guardsmen don't need to deal with that. Reveal after a specific thing, after a specific thing. Must reveal now for the um, Necrons. Challenge. I'm going to select this guy and that guy. <laughs> so, if he, if the, basically, if this guy shoots and kills him, that's that. So, guardsmen get to go first. They're actually just going to have plasma shoot into him. I know shooting into him would probably be a good idea. But let's see here. What, is, what are their weapons? The Necron's weapons. I think it's all going to hurt. Uh, these guys' weapons will probably be more likely guaranteed death. So Plasma will fire. He will overcharge because guess what? He had been given the orders to take aim. So, you know, it makes sense to fire. And now once I find the plasmas thing, there we go. Four shots, fours to hit, reroll ones. Oh my god, thank god, reroll ones. That's three of them, otherwise he would be freaking dead. Well, he took aim and got a crit and two regulars. Yeah, there's no... Yeah, it's not like lethal five up or anything, but still, crit and two regulars. And the, um... For an immortal... Defensive three, but it's AP two because it's supercharged, so he's got one defense dice. And he is in cover, so... Right? Does this thing give him cover from this from this guy? I'm gonna say it grazes that edge and does give him cover. I mean, it was a three up save anyway. Well, let's see how many wounds does he have. Enough that it doesn't matter if he gets a crit, he, the two regulars will kill him anyway. So doesn't matter. He's dead. They can only spend it, it looks like once on the reanimation. Like unless they have something that allows them to select reanimation for everyone, I think he's just gone. So that's dead. And he is gone. <clears throat> because the, killing this guy is worth victory points, he's actually just gonna shoot at him. Because, honestly, he has to or else it's not going to go well. So, Goss Flare. Four attacks. Threes to hit. No lethal or anything. Did get a crit. And two regulars. Do, 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 do. So, he would get... He can auto-retain one of them. What's the crit? Ooh. Well, he's still going to roll. No, he's going to auto-retain one of them. He can auto-block one of these. And we're going to see what the other two results are. Uh, both a fail. Uh, what he's going to do, though, if I recall... Oh, I can't I realize he will get shot up more. Except, honestly, they wouldn't want to shoot him with anyone else. So... Nah, they're not going to do that. As fun as that is to mess with them. He's the bruiser, and he has a rosary. 
So once per a battle, and then resolve successful steps of its shooting attack or combat, you can ignore the damage inflicted from one attack dice. Um, so, oh wait, once the resolve successful hits, is that before or after you roll? Hold on. <laughs> when order of steps, is it after you roll your saves? Or before you roll your saves. Resolve successful hits is at the end. After all the, um... Yeah, that resolve successful hits is after the saves have been resolved. Good. So he had normal and a crit. He's going to ignore the crit. Okay, it's only when he's fighting in combat can he ignore any other damage. So he takes a normal damage, which is three. So he's more than half left. Boop. And this guy's gone. Okay, let's see what he can see. This is invisible line. Okay. Okay. It's gonna cross heavy, so he can't actually shoot at that guy. So this guy hasn't gone, the sniper's just gonna shoot at him. So you know, might as well. He might be able to put someone down. Four attacks. Lols. Twos to hit. Reroll ones. Reroll ones. I saw you crit so far. Okay, he was gonna miss that one no matter what. Crit. Two regulars. So the crit does three mortal wounds off the bat. So this guy's already at six wounds. And now, um... Yeah, just re reading the what the Necron's living metal and stuff. So now the Necron can go. He's still got his normal three defense dice. Three four up saves. Failed two of them. Do they want to re-roll that? Because block one at least. And that would be six more damage so he would they would have to spend a command point for living you know for reanimation which well no the, here's the thing about the spending the command point for the reanimation if they just let him die now and reanimate later and yes he won't get shot up anymore but these guys have free reign to just move forward and he, only he gets an overwatch at this point they don't like that. They they know that's not good for them. So he ha he is going to spend the command point to try to live because he has to at least try to shoot someone to prevent them from getting to the objective. So you're going to reroll. Success. So he blocks the next regular. He's going to let the crit go through because it's only three more. And he's still alive. Done. It's now passed. Because now he can go, and he could shoot at the medic to stop it from healing this guy, so that way he can overwatch him and potentially get them a victory point. So he's going to shoot at the medic. Um, four shots. He's beyond half health, so it's forced to hit. Uh, he'll still get three hits. No cover for that guy, so... Three five ups. You better make at least one of these. Or he makes two of them. Blocks it. And he's okay with taking one because that's only three damage. So. Four wounds left. And this guy has gone. Hmm. 
<laughs> right. What do they have for their tactical assets? Definitely guided missile. Right, and the other one was marked airstrike. So we have to just use someone. I mean, honestly, anyone who could see him is going to. He's going to be at least in cover, regardless. But someone will fire it because it doesn't impact them. So they're firing their guided missile into that guy. Because if they could take him out, they could deny the challenge. So guided missile, four attacks, threes to hit. No rerolls of one because it's not an operative firing it. Crit, regular, regular. That's really good on their part. It's AP1, so he only gets two defense dice. Um, he can auto-retain one, which he will because he's in cover. So he can block one already. So he needs this one to succeed. He failed it. Ooh, so here's the other thing. Does he spend a command point to re-roll it? Or just take it and do the... He's just going to take it. So this does 9 damage. Which reduces him to 0 wounds. So he'll spend the command point for... Reanimation protocol. So... I'll go like that. <laughs> so he's... Flunk. And now it's the... Um, Necrons, him, and his only target is this guy, so he's going to shoot at him. So, Goss Flare, four attacks, threes to hit. Actually, he can't. But the same reason why they can't shoot him, this bit right here. If he moves too close to that, they're going to be able to. What does he want to do? He's got, you know, like, eh, eh, for movement. He could get in their way. And screw it, he's going to start getting in their way. Make it so that way they can't all go through the door at once. One, two... You know what? And he's... I realized they could switch it. No, he's going to stay with an engage order because it doesn't matter. So he's done. So they'll be able to overwatch next. Um, because of that... They'll actually... Do for the next weapon. He's gonna fire a crack grenade into him. It's, yeah. Four attacks. Fours to hit, reroll ones. AP one, so you know, it's really useful. Reroll ones. Okay. But hey, two hits. That's all he really needs. Either one of these going through will kill the dude. And it's AP1. So the guy can auto block one of them. Because he's in cover. But now he has to make a floor up. He made it. So he survives. And now is the second action. One, two, three. He can overwatch. <clears throat> Honestly, oh, damn. He's going to shoot at Plasm. Plasm is more of a threat right now. So, Goss Blaster, four attacks. Um, fives to hit because you have to subtract, you have to worsen it by one for overwatch as well, not just for being wounded. So... And that's Goss Blaster, that's Immortal. And that's not at all what he's doing Goss Flare. Still fives to hit. 
gets one hit. Um, guy's in cover, so he'll auto block. Overwatch done. He's the only one that can Overwatch now. <clears throat> so, we'll go with this guy. One, two, three. Dash. I'm trying to make it so that way if this guy were to overwatch, he's beyond two there, so there's nothing he could do. So that's that. Medic is actually going to first action heal that guy. Because you know what? He can. All right? He's within... Yeah, he's within one. Regains 2d3 lost wounds. And yeah, that's it. And otherwise, it can keep going. 2d3 lost wounds. So 1, 3, he gains 4 wounds, but he was... either way, he's regained health. Um, it's not even going to bother shooting at that guy at the moment. He's also going to start moving up. One, two, three. Since, you know, now we got a lot of operatives coming along. <clears throat> this guy. One, two, three. He's going to re retain his gauge order because of um, <clears throat> people on, on vantage points. However, he still has a last gun. I just gotta find him in here. He's gonna shoot at that... Yeah. He still has a last gun. He's just gonna shoot at that dude because that dude's annoying. So four shots, four is to hit, reroll ones. Wow, three hits. That's actually good, because even though the guy gets three defense dice, he can block one of these. He needs to now roll two four-ups or die. Actually, no, no, he, he doesn't. Or he rolls no four-ups, because I realize these are two damage each, but that's still four damage in total, enough to kill him. So now I need to reread the animation protocols. Because it says to do that for each of your tokens, but it doesn't say that once I spend that tactical ploy, I can do it for everyone who gets knocked out. Oh, because the reanimation token doesn't, it doesn't sound like it would ever technically leap. If you fail to roll, like once you successfully roll, then you remove that animation token. So... You only remove the animation, so that's why it's the reanimation token. So that way, on second phase, if I do another Necron, like if he fails to reanimate, another person dies and I do another token, I can roll for all of them until they come back. So basically, he's going to come back regardless. It's just a question of when. Okay. That makes some sense. <clears throat> but this guy doesn't get it, so he's just dead. All right, Spire's gonna pass because there's not much else he can do. I wonder, one, two, three. He's, since they can switch one token, they're gonna switch him to an engage order. And he's gonna charge this guy. Whoop. And the second action, he's gonna fight. Yeah, you weren't expecting that? Now, where do you? Oh, there he is. He, I, I was staring right at him. Four attacks. Threes to hit. No rerolls because it's not a shooting attack. But hit, 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 crit. It was lethal five up, but that doesn't really matter. 
Um, oh, right. The Immortal gets to punch back. With his bayonet. Four attacks. Threes to hit. So, miss, miss. So, he's also got a crit and a regular. And he's going to immediately parry a regular. So that way, this guy will... He's got the choice of apply a crit or not. That's actually a big choice. If he applies the crit, he can injure the guy significantly. But then he will die from these. If he blocks the crit, he will survive. <clears throat> but then he's stuck in combat. And he, this guy will be at full health and he'll be nearly dead. He's going to apply the crit. He would rather try to injure this guy to make it so that way when reinforcements come along, he can die sooner. So he's going to apply the crit, which is four damage. So this guy is now at half health. Then he applies all the rest, which is enough to kill him. So that guy's dead. And he has gone. This guy, one, two, three, and then he's going to dash, be right there. Mm, screw it. One, two, and since he had to subtract one because he went through the door, th over that, but... You can still dash me comms with the, the sergeant, so still got the comms. See everyone's there. So they're there. Holy crap, do they eliminate things? Um Okay, I'm gonna start flipping these things. I know that becomes like a later phase. Okay. We're still on the turn one. Let's start checking things. Um, none of the tack ops are revealed for Necrons. I think this one can be revealed. I'll need to see the Octaria special and the Guardsman special ones because I think they, can, they got it. If there are more friendly operatives within hex of your drop zone and of the enemy drop zone, which and this this is very much the case, and so it's like from there and there, it's like they're in it. Everyone's in it. Like these guys are definitely within theirs, and from the Necrons one, they're in the Necrons one. So yeah. They've scored one victory point so far. So that has definitely been a score. And the other two haven't had the ability to score yet. <clears throat> so now we move on to round two. Everyone goes up one command point. We see who has the initiative. Necrons are going to have the initiative this time. <clears throat> Roll for this guy. So he's definitely coming back. What are the restrictions for how he comes back? Set the operative that the notion was taken. It must be as close as possible to the reanimation token, not within engagement range of anyone. It has D3 wounds remaining. It has the order of the remaining token, which is that one. Back to right here. And then I would remove the reanimation token. Well, reanimation token was his dead body. Um, D3 wounds remaining. Oh, roll that six to get three wounds back. He's got three wounds, baby. So much drain. 
Why don't we roll to see, I think, if reinforcements come back? Since this is the turning point two. At the start of the strategy phase, which is what's about to happen, at the second turning point, yep. Defender rolls 1d6 for each of the operatives that were forced away. Oh, for each operative. So we'll start with this warrior. Doesn't come in. Okay, I think... On a four up, the operative is returned, and the defender can set up anywhere that's wholly within their drop zone. Wholly within of a kill edge and more than Okay, this is just so it's like must set up anywhere that's wholly within their drop zone. Wholly within that of a kill edge, so I guess you could go from there kind of thing, but more than one from it, so they could put someone right there, and someone over here, or someone over here. At the start of the strategy phase of the third point, all the defenders operating who were lured away, re, re, ruse, return to the kill zone, instead of anywhere that's wholly within of a kill zone edge, and more than from an operative. So from a kill zone edge. So they can come in from over there at that point to try to shoot at any... I mean, honestly, if they come in over there and go like, we're going to try to shoot you, that just doesn't help them. It's like, yes, they can come up there and shoot them in the back, but then it's the... You killed them while you lost your objective, so... All right, we'll just... It's a four up, so we'll just keep rolling on everyone else. So the leader is coming in. Alright, let's kind of separate these, so definitely coming in. Other Immortal, not coming in. Necron Warrior, coming in. Other Warrior, <laughs> no. So they only get two more models this phase. Ouch! Um, has to be within their deployment zone. Must be with a way, <laughs> I like how it's like that. I could put them all the way up here and he's with outside of engagement range but he's like I can get into melee with you two alright and his order will be in an engage order because they get to go first so obviously he's gonna do his best um this guy is gonna be over here with an engage order ready to shoot at those guys to stop them, potentially. Um, starting now, we do the. There are no. Are there more attack ops to reveal? I think there are more attack ops. Yes. Um, Guardsman will reveal, hold the line. You reveal this at the start, in the turn, after the first. So if, at the end of this turning point, if they have more operatives within. You know. There are no enemy operatives within that of their drop zone, which is like, you know, eight inches. So, or no, 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 it's like 10, you know, so basically over there. So I think that guy doesn't, but, you know, that's it. So they'll reveal it because if they kill that guy, they're good. So Necrons might put someone over there to deny a victory point. Uh, and those are very specific for the rest of the... Um, Necrons, so there's nothing to reveal there. Um, Necrons don't really have any ploys that they want to do. Strategic ploys. As for Guardsmen, oh, they'll start with Orders, which will be... Oh, if I do hold position, I can't do dash or charges, which they kind of do. They'll do move, I think? No, 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 take aim. Take aim. These, these guys already can start fucking up this terrain, so just take aim. You can have plasma and sniper murder some things. As for strategic ploys, um they're gonna actually do clear the line. So they can see melee is about to happen, so they can retain one successful normal hit without rolling it. That's gonna be rough for that guy. Um 
And they're going to do take cover. They're going to do both. So improve the save characteristic by one. Because this guy's in cover, and if this guy decides to shoot him, he's now got four up cover. So starting with Necrons, they're going to immediately charge. Because they know that will be much more in their favor. And he's going to fight that guy. Um, and he is the Necron's leader. So he's going to hit on two ups. Four attacks, two's the hit. Two, three regulars, one crit. And now the sergeant will do his four attacks. Threes to hit, right? Yeah, he's, he's well, hmm, okay, he's exactly at half. He's injured exactly half, or less than half, since I know that, that was a thing in the previous game, is that was less than half. Has fewer than half, so at half it is not injured. So he's going to roll his um, four attacks. Three's to hit. Oh, yeah, he's going to auto-retain one of them as a success. I forgot about that. Then he rolled all that. Oh, yeah, the two would hit because of the, um... There's someone else with him in melee, so he, 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 he gets two hits. Which, you know, is significant if he managed to not die. Um... Obviously, the guy's just going to apply a crit right away. Now I have to see if they have anything that they can do. If he dies, do they want to just use this tactical ploy when a friendly veteran operative is incapacitated? The operative is not removed from the kill zone until the end of your next activation and does not count as being injured. So it's like, I could try to get him to do some swings in, but honestly, even if he applies, they'll just parry the next one. And he's not going to be doing enough damage that he's just going to accept his fate. Not going to spend the command point. He does not need the, to have them be spending command points for that. They still have a confidant who's close enough to be giving orders to everyone around him, so that's actually still useful. And that was this guy's two actions, charge and fight, so he's done. Um, Plasma is actually just going to fire into him because he can. Oh, right, they got take aim before um, all that. Hee <laughs> hee. Right? The order was take aim? Yeah, the order was take aim. Because there was going to be some shooting. He, they knew that. So he's going to supercharge. <laughs> Four attacks. Fours to hit. Right. It was the, um... Command, they spent the strategic ploy for the whole cover thing, so... That's not an order, that's... Um, strategic ploy. So anyway... Plasma, supercharging, he gets to reroll ones because take aim. Ho oh, ho two crits and a regular. Um, I mean, all he could do is auto-retain to block that because it's AP 2, so he only gets one save and he's in cover, so he gets to auto-retain. Does he want to spend their command point again? Yay, he'll spend the final command point again. For reanimation. <laughs> Since he, he doesn't want to die. He wants the opportunity to win that challenge. However, that means he can't kill that guy. Now, this Necron's going to go next. It's actually going to move up. Just so that way it doesn't make him be in cover. And then for a second action, it's going to shoot at that guy, actually, to try to prevent the medic from healing him. And also because the medic's 
weak and it's like, yeah, I should be able to kill this guy. He's got... There we go. Four attacks. Threes to hit. Or he gets one crit and that's it. So he's got... To, to, basically the medic just needs to roll one six here. Or one success, now that I think about it. One extra success. Um, oh, it's a crit, so it would be a death if he's... So he will spend a command point to re-roll... Is it their final command point to re-roll this? And fails to. So the medic does expire. And so medic's dead. Um, oh yeah, plasma has fired. I don't need to do that. This guy will activate. One, two, let's see here, how tall is this? Definitely doesn't have enough, but he's within one of this thing now. So for a second action, he's going to do the mission objective, which is plant explosives. If an operative performs this action until the end of the turning point, they cannot perform charge or shoot actions. So he's done it. And they've done one damage. Oh, oh, oh. All right. And it's turn two, so they can still do a lot more. Um, back to Necrons. He can overwatch. He can see this guy through... Oh, but it's any part of Beyond 2, so he technically can't attack that guy. All he could really attack is... This guy. He's thinking he should do it since, let's see here, one, two, three, he'll be within one. He would be able to get a victory point, or, well, he could do damage. It's not necessarily a victory point yet. He said, fuck it. He, he would rather just kill the guy to prevent damage than hope for victory points. So, four shots, right? Yep, four shots. Four is to hit because Overwatch. He gets one crit. And the guy's in cover, so he gets four up saves. So he's going to auto retain one as a success because if he gets one more, or he rolls the crit, blocks it. So Overwatch complete. One, two, Three. Wait, okay, he was here. Well, first of all, I could go like that. One, that's one cir circle. Two, it's better to go little triangles than one big circle and then that. So for his second action, he will also plant explosives. I like how they're just doing little explosives, just pew. Little damage everywhere. Oh yeah, he's actually within one of this thing, so he could actually... These guys can attack him. Well... They have one more tactical asset. Which is marked airstrike. So we're gonna do it from him to him. Because he's within one of this structure, so he's still... So even though the guy's beyond two there, he's within one on um, the terrain piece. I think that's how it works. You know, it's like... It, it's so weird how that works. Do, 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 do. I mean, this guy's the one where I'm like... It's kind of crazy. 
I suspect it goes the other way too. But he's within one. So I, you know what? Just do it that way. Um, marked airstrike. Five attacks. No rerolls. Four is to hit. Also, I'm just realizing he's not beyond two from plasma, so plasma can be doing plasma can be doing this. It still works. So two hits. Barrage. I think barrage means it's if for um, cover. He has to be. Blocked from above, which he's not, so he doesn't auto retain anything. And it would be blast, but who cares? So, two hits. Three, four up saves from the Necron. Failed two of them. Successfully blocked one. Takes one normal damage, which is three damage for Necron Warrior. That puts him at six wounds left. Do 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 do. Can these guys see any of him now that I know he's not beyond two? Spotter can see him. Sniper cannot. Yeah, he's within the he's within the two from that. So he gets he doesn't get covered since he's not within one of that. So Spotter can do something. Spotter is probably just gonna do the stupid thing. Mortar barrage. Why not? Five attacks. Uh, he did take aim, <laughs> so he gets to reroll ones on this one. Force to hit. <laughs> Woo! Three crits. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, three defense dice because he doesn't get to auto retain any. Okay. You block a crit, he can block a regular. <laughs> but he still takes two crits, which is six damage, which is enough to kill him. Damn. Go Mortar. That was a really accurate Mortar and really deadly at that. This guy still hasn't been able to kill the guy he needs to kill. <laughs> uh, still Guardsman's turn because Necrons can't Overwatch yet. One, two, three. Well, okay. Does, does he have to have an engage? No, it's just a mission objective, so. One... Two, three, and for his second action, he's also going to damage the structure. They're getting their numbers there. And then they're going to pass with this guy. Oh, did I just drop that off? I think I did. Yep. The reason they pass is because they can now make the comms do a fallback. And a fallback is just, yeah, regular movement. One, two, three. So that way comms can be next to um, the confidant <laughs> at the beginning of the turn. And he can't overwatch because no more operatives. Pretty sure. Yeah, I need... This guy never even... In okay, so we'll... Ignore that and just do this guy because I forgot he even freaking existed. One. That's one circle. Two circle. And three circle. And for his thing, he would have also damaged the structure. So he would have done his thing, and then finally we would have done comms. Because again, the comms moving last was what they wanted to do. They just did, I just had to double check, and suddenly it's like, there's a dude over there. It's like, what the hell? Yeah, that makes sense. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guardsmen, and only two have died. <clears throat> All right, we'll just start putting 
operatives in the ready state. Eat do do do. All right. Now here's the real big question. Does execution get denied for Necrons because of him? Is he classified as incapacitated? If he's classified as incapacitated, they're together. It's you activate it when incapacitated and then you do everything else. It doesn't classify as oh, also I just remember they start they start with living metal. So I don't remember if someone was wounded and I should have healed up two wounds before. Oh, right. The guy who was here died. He was incapacitated. Um, the leader over there dead. No, no, no. There was no one to do living metal because he came up and... Oh, my God. Yeah, they didn't have the ability to do living metal. <laughs> oh, my God. So, anyway... I'm going to actually classify it since it does say incapacitate. So technically the same number of models were incapacitated both rounds. So I don't think Necrons have execution. I did forget to reveal Headhunter um, they, because they killed the enemy leader. And they did it within um, the second turn. So they do get two victory points for that. So they managed that. Um, as for the guardsmen, uh, they still had more operatives within their zone and their zone, so they finished off their faction-specific one for a second victory point. Hold the line, if there are no operatives within square, so, it was four, so technically, you're, oop, I just bumped the mic, he's not within, so they technically held the line as well. They got a victory point from hold the line. I just kicked a tack off under the table. There we go. Their third thing hasn't been applied yet. And execution from Necron scan. So now we just roll to see if this guy comes back. It's a Necron warrior, so he gets a two up for it. So he comes back. Still with an engage order. I wonder, can he shoot the guy? His line, there is a bit that I can see to that guy's head. So you can actually see the guy he needs to kill. But how many wounds does he have? <laughs> it was D3, so he's got one wound. Not really in a good state. <clears throat> As for the Necrons, all of them come back. within that and they can't be within someone. So he's going to be there to shoot these guys since obviously Necrons really want to lay down a bunch of fire. <clears throat> yeah, there. Now they can see and kill most. They could put someone over there to deny victory points but this thing is worth a lot. So it's very important right now. <clears throat> But now we have to see who has the initiative, because that can determine massive amount. Well, it's Guardsman's initiative. And now we do, um, oh yeah, everyone's got one command point. Uh, Guardsman, it's orders. He's with them, so you can give it to everyone. He's going to give take aim, because might as well, because we got some... Plasma that can do some things. Um, what we'll do, start actually with the Confidant. First action. Oh, wait, if you damage, you can't um, shoot afterwards. So, screw it. At this point, they're just going to start um, doing what they can. Uh, well, you can't shoot or charge, so can hide. And honestly, it really doesn't freaking matter. First action, attack. All right, we're in turn three. And they realize it's like, it doesn't matter. They can't fix it, so they just 
all go in there and die, it doesn't matter. Damaged. And then pass because can't do anything else. Um, as for the Necrons, oh god. This guy's gonna attempt to shoot him because, you know, he's gonna try to kill the dude that he kind of needs dead. So he's gonna fire four attacks, forced to hit because he's injured. He's got two hits. Guy's got three five up saves from attack above his head. Uh, failed them all. Do, 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 do. He just. Let's see here. Goss. Oh. He'll just accept it. Because that's six damage in total. Which puts him at one wound left. He has seven, right? Yep. So one wound left. This is kind of want to do. He's going to stay up there. So now he's going to activate damage. And pass for a second thing. Do a double check. How much, how many wounds can they put on this thing before it doesn't matter? At wound seven, it doesn't matter. So at this point, basically the Necrons have lost. <laughs> because they can't kill enough at this point to stop it. So, who do they want to kill? You know what I mean? This warrior is going to shoot... Oh my god. Did they... Yeah, because even if they kill this guy, that guy does it. It's just... Now it's more of just trying to unseat their leadership so they can't just kill, keep killing models later. So this guy is just going to kill the, uh, the confidant. He's just... Going for four attacks, threes to hit. Oh my lord. <laughs> Just whiff, 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 whiff. Confidant doesn't really care at this point. It blocked. Pass. This guy's. At, well, you know what? Comms is gonna activate. Go here. And for the final action. Do the final damage that's needed. So, boom. And because it says 7 plus, so I can keep technically going. It's just I'm at 7 plus. So, it literally just goes 7 or more. And it's like, no need to keep going. <clears throat> so, now that's happened. He's, you know what? This warrior is going to shoot at comms. Just try to stop comms from doing things. Four attacks, threes to hit. <laughs> These dice are cursed. Hey, he takes some damage. He takes three damage, ends up at four health. Oh my god. The immortal's wondering if it wants to charge in. Well, it's still Guardsman's turn. Okay. He's actually going to activate. Go one there. Two there. Three there. And then... Dash and is hit and concealed. This is... <clears throat> Two, two actions. Technically, another guardsman of the... Since he used a group activation, he could do a second one, but nope, there's no one else to activate. So now we go back to Necrons. <clears throat> this guy is just going to go... One, two, and then, you know, since he's charging, he gets to add one extra circle, so he's charged in. Um, 
Who's he gonna attack? He's going to attack the comms. He can probably kill the comms. So four attacks. <clears throat> Three's dead. One crit. One regular. Two whiffs. Comms, what are you gonna do, buddy? Bayonet. Three attacks. Four is to hit. All right, got two regular hits. But he's going to apply the crit, which is enough to um, kill the dude. So. Kill. Oh, I just realized that uh, the third attack actually hit because um he actually had the ally to help him. So he technically had three hits, but, you know, doesn't matter. He still died. But he's dead. Those guys are like this. Plasma's going to fire into him. What was the orders? So the orders applied. I think I did take aim. Yeah, I mean, that's the only order to do. Since the confidant could give orders and you know, hit the comms. And there's no other orders. It would be move, 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 which doesn't matter in this case. Yeah, so... Take aim. So firing. Oh. Does he want to overcharge? Sure. Supercharge. Get to reroll once because of take aim. <laughs> I mean, doesn't matter. This guy has not enough defense dice to block all that. Does he spend his final command point to freaking reanimate again? To try to kill this guy. There's another phase. So, yes. It's a victory point. Otherwise, so he's going to try. Here's their final command point. He's fired. Now this guy. He's going to move up a bit. You can see that guy who hasn't fired. He's gonna fire. He's the leader, so he gets twos to hit. Four attacks, twos to hit. And he doesn't have any cool equipment. No. So four attacks, twos to hit. Or, you know, two crits and a regular. Yep, and a regular. It's AP1, so that guy needs to roll like two sixes basically right now. You roll nothing, he's not even gonna. Whoops. He's not even gonna try to deny that because honestly, this was 10 damage on its own, so. He's very dead. He's okay with that. He is gone. <clears throat> Those two, I don't think, can actually shoot at anything. Because these things are all way outside of um, heavy terrain. And they're okay with that. So they'll pass. Overwatch. They can't shoot at them. They don't want to shoot this guy because he's there and they can't shoot anyone else. So pass. End of phase. Hey, this time they get execution. So they got a victory point there. However, um, since they didn't move that guy up or anything, they got hold the line for the second time. So a fourth victory point there. And of course, you know, with this main objective, that counts at the very, very end. And you can expect that it's very much going to be Guardsmen. So the final turn... Alright, is the living metal on the models activated? Because that would be... No, it's at the start of the turning point. So, yeah. But no one has health to recover. We'll roll to see if this guy comes back. He does. 
doing his best to be able to shoot that guy one last time. How many wounds does he have? One. Um, who has the initiative? Necrons. Uh, command points. Necrons have one. Guardsmen have two. Um, for the ploys, I mean, also orders. I don't even know if there's really anything to do ploy wise for the guardsmen. I guess hotshot las guns are not a bad idea. Oh, we'll do clear the line for this guy. Because now melee will auto, I mean, I can auto retain a hit, so melee. Um, so everyone within Hex that has line of sight, or visible, not line of sight, just visible. So if they can see part of each other, they can. This guy's technically visible to him, so he's got that. So he's going to be, um, he can get orders. Everyone else can get orders. What's the order? Oh, seriously, what's, what's the order you do? It does. I'd say the order still fit, apply to the leader. It doesn't say it wouldn't. So Necrons go. They're actually going to first have this guy fire into him. Because he has one wound. If he gets killed, they, they lose their challenge. So he's going to fire into him. <laughs> he's going to try. He's going to do his best. With his Goss Flare. Four attacks. Threes to hit. <clears throat> Sorry, fours to hit because he's injured. This time he gets a crit and two regulars, so this guy needs a six and two fives to survive. He's not going to do that. Well, 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 he's going to block that. If he only had four up armor, he would actually be alive right now, but he doesn't. So he takes six damage, and well, you know, that was enough to kill him. So he's very much dead this turn. And for the Necrons, he was still within Hex, uh, or the Pentagon of that guy. So they actually get two victory points off of that. Yeah! They actually completed their challenge in the fourth turn. So that's cool. <clears throat> they did that. And now Guardsmen go. They're going to have this guy go one... Two, he's just gonna go there and for his Oh wait. I need to double check something on the core rules. Because maybe he doesn't wanna do what he did. Oh, okay. Bump ba dump bump bump. As I said, he didn't want to do what he was gonna do. He's gonna go one, two, three. Dash through the door, because for your free action, drop. After selecting his hot to attack off, select one friendly operative secretly to be holding the banner token. It's been this guy the whole time, that's why he started it over here. He's like, oh, I could potentially just drop it in their drops on, and then it turned too active, so he's been moving it around. <laughs> but they haven't been shot at him, because he's not been the... A priority target until they find out he's got a banner. You reveal it when he drops it. He's dropped it. Until the until the end of the battle, the pickup action can be formed by friendly operatives. He doesn't need to. If you're to wholly within your opponent's drop zone, he can score two victory points. And here's the thing. The only way the Necrons can deny this two victory points is if they get someone within... If they have to kill him... And be within one of the um, triangle to deny that. So he has secured that. In fact, we're not even going to bother with that. We're just going to say they got that two command point and victory points already. So, done. They've completed all their tack ops. I've never seen a team go full tack ops. So they've done that. Um, now Necrons get to go and, well... Oh yeah, this guy's fired, so he's done. 
it's now turning into kind of depressing. Well, what do you do? <clears throat> because they can just try to deny themselves getting shot more, which is really the only reason to do that is to avoid um, losing out on the execution. So they've killed one and haven't lost Necron. They're going to lose him. Well, yeah, they'll lose him because it's still reanimation. So they'll have this guy fight right now because, you know, if he can kill the Confidant, then it doesn't matter. So the Immortal will fight with his four attacks, threes to hit. Two crits in a regular. The Confidant has a bayonet, three attacks, fours to hit. Oh, um, fix bayonets to get to reroll ones. Well, um, just, he's got that one hit. Um, because he can, he'll use the regular to parry that, and then he'll apply the strikes of two crits, which is eight damage, so dead. And for the second action, move over here. Plasma, um, is gonna fire into him. Will not overcharge this time. So... Where are you, Plasma? Right there. So it'll be AP1 this time. Four shots, fours to hit. No rerolls of one. Woo! No rerolls of one. That's a... S so, you know, not overcharging was a good idea. <laughs> uh, he gets two four-up saves this time. And he gets to auto-save one. So he puts one in. He's just got to get this one to make it. Two will block the crit. So he actually lives this time. Um, Scooch, you know, they're just kind of hiding. There's really nothing else to do. Sniper's going to fire into him, because why not? Four shots, two's to hit. I haven't done sniper in forever. Yep, two's to hit. Four shots, two's to hit. Oh, look, crit, mortal wounds, gone. Um, <clears throat> so... He's still incapacitated, so they're not even going to bother. He's done his challenge. They don't care. At this point, it doesn't matter. And huge... Pa you know, it's like pass. Pass. And hiding. You know, just the... The Necrons have done what they can. So that's end of end of game... Um, Necrons actually score the execution again, so they get to six. In fact, the game is tied right now as everyone matched all the tack ops. Everyone got every single tack op, which is pretty impressive that both teams managed to complete their secondaries. However, for the main objective, because the attacker did seven damage, the attacker gets 12 victory points. Yep, you heard me right. Twelve. <laughs> and Defender gets none. Yep. In fact, there was no point. Like, as soon as they got to three points, they had three points. Actually, no, they had to get to four points. As soon as they had four points of damage, the Guardsman won. But they wanted to guarantee it. And they still managed to complete all their attack ops, not lose too many people. That was a very interesting game. It's just the Necrons really just couldn't keep people off of this thing. I mean, having the models not come out late until later, until the third turn was, it was way too late. But it was an interesting game, nonetheless. Um, thanks very much for watching and have a Fabulous day, everybody.